Hello everyone. Um, this video just shows off my Tekken Hybrid limited edition copy. I got Tekken Hybrid because I wanted Tekken Tag Tournament HD and the Tekken Blood Vengeance movie. And I got the limited edition because it has an art book and I thought I might want some of that as well. So let's take a look inside the box and see what there is. So here's the disc that has Tag HD, Blood Vengeance, and Prologue all on the same disc. And then here's the soundtrack. I have not actually listened to the soundtrack because it just kind of happened to come with it. I'm not really into the Tekken music. Here's a DLC voucher. I haven't used this either. It's supposed to get stuff from PlayStation Home, so I haven't even looked at that. But one thing I made sure to look at, the first thing I looked at, because I had time at work, was the art book. So here's the art book. And uh, it starts off with stuff for Tekken Blood Vengeance. I think, I think that this picture is actually pretty funny. I don't think it means to be, but my husband and I, we, we get a pretty good laugh out of the picture. So, here's some character profiles and information. It's got stuff about their voice actors, too. There's Din's page. Here's a character relationship chart. I have not read a lot of these tidbits because I've just read, you know, stuff about Jin and stuff about... Well, just a few things. Not, not many. But there's Double Jin's concept art along with a bunch of other concept art. Here's some storyboards and stuff like that. Then we have some Tekken Tag key art. And after that we have some stuff for Tekken Tag 2 Prologue. So there's all of that stuff. And I have played Tag HD. I got my Platinum last night, so I can vouch that it's a pretty easy thing to get. And let's see. So I'm not really going to review Tekken Hybrid because I'm of the opinion that if you know anything about it, you know what you want, and you'll know if you want to get it. So all you're going to get out of me is it has Tekken Tag, which is a good game if, if you like that, so I would recommend getting it. Oops. And uh, as for Blood Vengeance, I personally love that movie, but I'll admit you, it's, it's cheesy, it's over the top, it's funny, y you could say it's bad even though I love it, so, you know, that's kind of up to you. If you don't mind cheesy over the top tech in action, then yeah, by all means, check it out. Uh, as for Prologue, whatever Namco says, so far as I'm concerned, that's Looks like a demo to me, and it just happens to have Blood Vengeance customization type things. In fact, it kind of irks me that with Lisa as first player, she, you can't pick her regular costume. She, she has to be in the school uniform, which she never even is in the movie. It, it kind of annoys me. But anyway, there's the package, and um, that's it. I was really excited because I had wanted the movie for so long. That was the main thing that got me really excited, but I've been playing Tag HD, and uh, my biggest complaint with that was they took out gallery mode, and there's no way to take screenshots. And you know, hey, they, they spiced up the game, and they upgraded it to HD, and you can't even show off the screenshots, even though Tekken 6 had the capability to do that, and Tag H and regular Tekken Tag had the ability to do that. So, but there's the package, and there you go.